They're all done. Is there anything else you wish me to do? Wait a second. You've done all of these? Yeah. Every single one? Yes. And they're all right? Would I give them to you if they're wrong? Well, they better be. It's just that, um... This is all two days worth of work here. Hey, uh, Rakesh, listen, I was thinking about popping out, going to visit the site, and then going home for, for lunch. Is that okay? Rakesh? Oh. Oh, Johnny, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, Johnny. Listen, um, don't expect to get any praise from the boss. Yeah, you won't get it. But, do keep working like this. Show the initiative and it'll make him proud. Great. Hey, 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 I'm serious. I know. Johnny, listen, do you, do you like working here? Of course I do. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Yeah, okay, it's just that, um, I get the sense that there might be an issue of some kind. Okay, Rakesh, don't get me wrong, all right? <laughs> Not expecting any praise from anyone. Part of my job, that's what I'm doing to get paid. But what I do expect is some respect and recognition when I go above and beyond, all right? Otherwise, I might as well just be some desk jockey doing what I can just to get by and not get fired. But don't worry, I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah, all right, okay. I know you're not. All right, okay, good. I'll see you tomorrow then, shall I? All right. Oh, and Johnny. Yes. Well done. For this. Good work. Thanks. Oi. We've got enough moody faces in here from the regulars without you joining them. Let me guess. Simran? I wish I understood you a lot more. You lot? Women. Well, trust me, we feel the same about you men. I don't get it. You know, I thought every woman wanted the perfect gentleman. Someone who opens up doors for them and, and pulls out chairs at restaurants. Yeah, we do. No, you don't, because the minute he comes along, it's like, bam, he's a loser. Does Simran want a biker or something? What? Well, I don't know, maybe, who knows? What's happened between you two? Nothing worth mentioning. Do you want the truth? Yeah, please. Women do want a gentleman. We do want someone who's going to be chivalrous and buy us flowers and be sensitive and in touch with their emotions. Yeah, of course you do. But we want those things, but we also need a man to be a man. If you can't find the balance, then neither can we. Look, I don't know what's happened between you two, but sitting around feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to help anything, and it's certainly not going to keep you in Thacker's good books. And one last bit of news. There's only five minutes left of your break. You know, you two are really cute, man. <coughs> no, I mean, you made a really cute couple. We weren't a couple. No? No, of course not. I knew you wouldn't understand. Why wouldn't I understand? Because you've not been in that situation. I have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. You know, when I was back in Mumbai, there was this girl who used to live next door to me. Her name was Myra. And she was the most beautiful girl that I've ever seen in my entire life. You know, when she smiled, she'd have these dimples to either side that would go in like that. And her most incredible hair that you've ever seen. I mean, literally, people would stop her on the street to ask her why her hair was so incredible. Coconut oil. That's the secret, by the way. And I used to always think, this girl, she's too beautiful for me. But somehow, in my gut, there was always this feeling that, no man, there's, there's something there. Was there? There was. My gut instinct was right. You know when I found out? The day before she got married. She came to me and she said to me, 
that she has feelings for me and wants to be with me instead. And I know what she wanted. She wanted me to say, don't marry that other guy. Marry me. He'll never know you or understand you the way I do. But somehow in me, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. And here I am all these years later, 29. I'm single. Uh, <clears throat> I live with a Middle Eastern guy who's doing better in life than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid, mate. Come on, man, he is. Of course he is. Look, he's got a job. He's making money. He's going places. What am I doing? I'm just sitting at home with nothing but my thoughts, right? So the day after her wedding, I decided that I couldn't stay there anymore. You know, we had the same friend circle and we still see each other and everything. So a week later, I was here in England. And you know, it's not that I don't want to go back to India because India's rubbish and England's amazing, nothing like that. It's just, I guess I'm running away from all the ghosts of what I had there in my past. You know? So don't ever think that I don't understand. I'm uh, sorry, mate, I didn't mean to say it like that. It's okay, what I'm saying to you is, in life, the most important thing is don't have regrets. You know? Better to do something than to not do something and think about it afterwards. your shoes. This is not a barn, you know. How was last night? I completely forgot about that. It was fine. Just fine? I think it went quite well. Mm, I knew it. Did she like the food? Did she believe you made it? I think she did. And I'm pretty sure she believed I made it too. See? Perfect. I knew it. Are you seeing her again? I don't know. I hope so. What do you mean you hope so? Did you, did she like you? Did you feel a connection? Oh, it's still early days, Mum. Mm. But what I do know is that my feet are killing me. I'm just going to go upstairs and take these boots off. Yeah, just go upstairs and take it easy. Okay. There's some salt upstairs in the cupboard. Put it in your bath, it'll help you. <laughs> okay. Ma, this is amazing. Calm down, there's a long way to go. Yeah, right. He was getting all excited earlier. That was just to give him confidence. Trust me, I know what I'm doing here. Okay, fine. I'm gonna leave the matchmaking to you. Hopefully he's working hard. Nobody wants a lazy man, especially a woman like Dipti. I'm sure he's doing fine, Ma. He takes up after his mother. I don't understand. In my eyes, it was perfect. To him, it was just a mistake. I was just another mistake. Just perfect, but then, I don't know. I was a fool for taking advantage of her when she'd been drinking, when she was all emotional. And how can I know what her real feelings are? But how can a mistake feel so real, feel so right, feel so... What does it matter if she doesn't even feel the same? I guess that maybe some things aren't meant to me. Maybe... Maybe Simran and I were just never meant to be. I'm sick of being indoors all the time. But you seem to be on some other planet. Okay, yeah, sure. What is the matter with you today? Nothing. 
Every time I look over, you're just staring into space. I don't know what's happened between you and Ajay, but it's clearly affecting you. And I know it's to do with Ajay and not your meeting. Capreet! Oh, hi, Jess. What the hell do you think you're doing? What? Is that Table 9 soup order? <laughs>